Well, there's supposedly the Europe, I get, I get the RSGB yeah. journal, and the, apparently there's somebody in uh, Germany rewrote Mininac in C, and it's something called, oh boy, can't remember the name of the program now, M-A-M. Oh, yeah, yeah, M-M, Mana, M-M-A-N. Man, Mana, yeah. That's Japanese, I believe. And, I it's, thought... and it's, based, it's Mininac based, and that's really got some disadvantages. Um, I wrote an article in uh, QST magazine. Actually, it was uh, uh, it voted the best of the year or something. In 1990, I think it was called uh, Mininac, the other edge of the sword, which uh, outlined some of the some of the uh, peculiarities of Mininac, which you had to be aware of when you use that program. Yeah, I, I actually have a copy of Mininac here on um, three and a half inch floppies. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's how I started. I, somebody gave me a copy of Mininac, and I saw how powerful it was, but it was user hostile. So I started writing up, uh, started hacking on it and adding graphics and stuff like that and made it usable. And uh, I was feeling like I needed a new computer. It, mine was getting pretty outdated, and, and uh, I was doing more and more antenna work, uh, figuring out how antennas worked. And I became aware that Brian Beasley uh, was selling uh, a enhanced version of mini neck for 100 bucks i think it was so i thought gee i'll sell mine for 50 bucks and maybe i can make enough money to get another computer and uh five months later i that was l neck is my first one and, mm. and that was 1990 early 1990 when i started selling that and five months later i had my new computer and then uh in 1995 i finally got fed up with working at the in the Gilbert cartoon and quit my day job and i've been making my living with uh, easy neck and some consulting uh, the whole rest since then. So that's the, that's a quick, oh, then uh, yeah, 1995 is, yeah, that's when, also when I uh, incorporated uh, NEC into the program. Finally, the computers became powerful enough to use NEC and that was when easy neck started. So, and then I made my first windows version of easy neck in 2000. So I've been at this for a while. <laughs> L, I actually was brought up on Elnick, um, and I, a little little why about this. Uh, we, I, I actually, our company actually used Elnick to simulate some very sophisticated collinear antenna systems. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. They, I have ever, some. Ever have you ever heard of Cellwave? <laughs> a Cellwave? Yeah, old, old Phelps Dodge. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't remember, but I have got thousands and thousands of customers now and yeah. uh, so I, I don't remember them all. I did have cell wave sounds like a, is that one of the um, uh, cellular cellular uh, outfits? Yeah. I did, I did have several of them that uh, bought my program regularly. Yep. I was brought up on LNAC. We, we, had, to, we had to keep a number of uh, segments down because that wasn't the full version. Uh. But, uh, but that was back, we, we, we were, you know, <laughs> commercial yeah but, uh, I worked really hard on the professional version of uh, easy neck when I first uh, L neck was was uh, restricted to I don't know a total of 1k of memory or something and yeah and uh, in DOS and then when I when I came out with uh, my first window and I got easy neck I got it up to 3,000 segments or something or 2,000 and then I got my first version of Windows <coughs> I got up to 10,000 and immediately, one of my professional customers said, "Gee, can you do twenty thousand? <laughs> <So, laughs> 